Hi. Hi! Welcome back to our channel. We're back. <laughs> it's Yay. been a while. <laughs> I had to take an extended break because uh, I was finishing up grad school and I was very busy. <laughs> and I'm the boss of this channel, so she everyone is. took a break. <laughs> if you can hear a dog panting, you've met Nova before in the videos. I have a golden retriever now. He's seven months old. Well, he's not mine. It's a long story. But anyways, if that's you hear panting, that's what you're hearing. So, like, there's a golden retriever wandering around. You might see the top of his head. We don't know yet. But I don't know if any of you are from Table Talk, but our mother is a star now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she is. Big star. Big star. <laughs> so, so, yes, the store that I work for, Pine Needles, she has started um, a Facebook, Instagram, YouTube called Table Talk. And it's been kind of fun. And I just, Erica made the comment. She's like, yeah, you just know how to talk, Mom. So it's Christmas time, obviously. So we thought that we'd uh, pop back in and share some Christmas projects we're doing and some non-Christmas projects we're doing. Just have a good old time. And it's Christmas because there's a tree in the background. <laughs> and a shirt. <laughs> but yeah, we all are wearing matching shirts. We went to Disney World together before COVID. And at Christmas time, it was just the four of us. It was kind of fun. It was. it was fun. I will start, and I missed the Christmas memo. I got the memo about the shirt, but not about the project. So I didn't bring all Christmas projects. So I, um, I almost have this finished. I have two more sides that I need to, um, I need to uh, finish the binding on. This was featured on Table Talk the other day. This was featured on Table Talk. Sandy hung it behind the behind the table. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, it goes this way. Oh, so we have My foot's right. caught. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, uh, Where are we going cool. this is, this is the top. Okay. That's, there you go. There you go. <gasps> this is so cute. I know. And, um, so this is a quilt called <laughs> Little Briar Rose. We have a I nice, mean, the fabric's called Little Briar Rose. We have a nice camera now so you can see things really nice. Welcome. This looks like it's upside down. Does it? It does. Yes, it is. It's upside down. Okay, we'll picture this, but the other way. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll Turn. do a quick little swap meet. Okay, so this is a fabric by Jill Howarth um, for Riley Blake. It's called Little Briar Rose. Look at how cute that one is. And so it's a Sleeping Beauty fabric. And Erica, if you can show the backing. That I picked so this because this was like my favorite hey, piece. I picked that to put on the back because it's my favorite piece. Um, in the line, I just love those little fairies. It's oh, super no, cute. No, 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 sit. That's the uh, golden retriever. I like this one a lot too. So this um, this quilt will be at Pine Needles. No, that's leave it. Um, the golden retriever would like to eat this quilt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this quilt will be at Pine Needles, and um, we'll have kits for it. So, and the pattern that I used is um, the Craftsman. And it's by Amy Enzo. Smart, who is Diary of a Quilter. So, no. um, anyway, yeah, I'm really excited. This quilt will go to <laughs> Nicole. Nicole gets this quilt because My she favorite princess. loves Sleeping Beauty. <clears throat> so I, I had done a Peter Pan quilt for Erica. And, and it was by the fabric was by Jill Howarth, and so I think I need to send Jill Howarth an email because Ariel liked Little Mermaid. I don't have one, and she doesn't have one, so I need to let Jill Howarth know that uh, we need Little Mermaid. We need Little Mermaid. She had Beauty and the Beast, which I did finish that. We had featured that in some of our our floss tubes. I finished that quilt. It went to my friend's um, daughter. She had her baby, and it turned out really, really cute. It was pretty adorable. So. Anyway, so that's one kind of finish. Almost finished. Yeah, almost finished. Basically finished. Um, <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it on my lap to keep me warm. This quilt, um, we also showed it on Table Talk. And I have the top done, but I have not had it quilted yet. And I kind of, I didn't have a lot of quilts when I was decorating, and I just kind of wanted to to put some together so I've got a bunch that I've got done but I'm gonna kind of to try to pay for all the quilting is so expensive so I just thought oh, I'm just gonna kind of start storing quilts and then you know kind of through <laughs> yeah. the year start having having them quilted so this one is called Red Barn Christmas Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and love love the fabric in this one <laughs> 
and um, Erica, I mean, um, so I love the fabric in this one. And this was, uh, the pattern I used was by Thimble Blossom. It was called Piece of Cake. And it, you, you, the reason it was called Piece of Cake is you used a layer cake to make it. And That's you just, adorable. You just kind of stripped, you know, you cut the, the layer cakes and um, sewed them back together and trimmed them. And it was, it was a really fun one to make and not a difficult quilt to do. It, was, it went together pretty fast. But I think, I'm trying to remember, I want to say that Red Barn Christmas was by Sweetwater. It's a, it was a Moda line, but it sold out of the store extremely quickly. Um, this that I used for the border, that I actually had to buy from Etsy because we ran out at the store. So, yeah. And then, <clears throat> even worse, Ariel, the story gets even you know more tragic. Oh, no. I ordered two yards, and um, I got an email, and it, I had showed that I had some money refunded to me, and I went, oh, no, she only had one yard. So I hurried and got on Etsy. I ordered another yard because, you know, I, I wanted to make sure I had enough, and I couldn't find very many people that had this fabric. And the fabric came in the mail, and there was two yards there, and she'd refunded me some shipping. Oh. So now I have an extra yard. Well, at least it's cute. It's really cute fabric, and I'm sure I can find it for something else. I did, when we did the table talk that we had just released, though, I did say, if anybody needs this fabric, let me know. I might be willing to sell it to you. <laughs> <laughs> anybody needs a yard. <laughs> so, anyway, so that's, those are my kind of sort of finishes. Um, but then I brought a couple things that I've been um, pulling that I want to work on next. This is actually stitching, stitching things. Um, so we finally kind of got our house put together and I have a sewing room and I just, I really like my space. Um, I have some great areas to work and I'm comfortable in there and I really like it. So now I'm kind of thinking, what are some of the things I might want to put on the walls besides my rulers? Stop. And, um, I picked up this pattern and Erica has been actually working on some of these. And this is, this is actually Christmassy. It's, um... A little house needleworks pattern it's hometown holiday and this is the quilt shop I'll let Eric Nicole bring it up there it's called it's the quilt shop and so what I've kind of decided that I'd like to do is um, I'd like to kind of stitch some of these and even though it's Christmas I think I'm gonna just hang it on my the wall all the time and just have some like Christmas and Oh, yeah, you know, like a holiday room. Yeah, well, and just cute. Just kind of, yeah, just have like some quilt and sewing things if, as they come. <laughs> what is so funny? <laughs> she stood up and Ariel pretended to pull her pants. <laughs> that is disrespectful to your mother. <laughs> I think it's disrespectful to Nicole. And Nicole. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Sorry, you guys, I'm so tired. <laughs> So anyway, I'm kind of excited to decorate my um, sewing room with just some kind of fun things. So I don't think this should take too terribly long. For, so for those of you that do watch Table Talk, you hear me talk about my children. Oh yeah, I guess you do. During my Table Talks. And so now you have names. Well, you, we didn't say names. So Erica, Hello. Nicole, Ariel. So now you kind of have faces if you watch Table Talk and you'll know. But we have... So when we do table talk, it's all done in one shot. And usually she doesn't edit anything out. We have to edit out a lot of stuff because they are sisters. And things get a little weird. These two. <laughs> yeah, those I two. I am not adding into that mix. <laughs> those well, two are the worst. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's funny. <laughs> so the next thing that I really, really yeah. want to get started, it's another <laughs> stitch rate. That I, and I just, I don't think these will be very hard. And... I just got a new table in my entryway. It's kind of a buffet table, and so I'm trying to think of things. Cute. Yeah, I'm trying to think of things that I want to put on it. And I did sign up. Sandy does a a monthly uh, cross stitch project, and last year it was typography. And this year it's called um, I think it's called Hilltop. She it was, oh, it was year on the hill. It was year on the hill, and she changed it. It's like Hilltop something now. Oh, is there still room? Yes, I signed up for it. Oh, because I say if there's still room, I could leave a link. Oh, yeah, we still have a few spots. So um, so I signed up for it because it's on a cute metal stand, and I just think it would be cute on this buffet table. And so I thought, I'm going to put some little kind of seasonal stuff, I think, on that table. So I love this, and Eric and I bought this. I think we got it at Craft Center. I think so. 
and it's called, uh, it's from Waxing Moon Designs, and it's called Valentine House Trio. I think these are adorable. And they're really cute, and so I was so excited to get going on this project, and really mm -hmm. just, you know, revved up, and just thought, oh, this is going to be so fun, and then... Um, <laughs> There we go. I was trying it. to focus on Ariel and not the pattern. Nope, 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 go back. Hide Ariel. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Yes. Good so, enough. So it, it's Google a, it. It's a, yeah, it's a really, really cute pattern. And I've just been so excited to get started on it. The problem, the only problem with it is, is it calls for Weeks Dye Works. So all of you stitchers know that it can be very difficult to find the floss you need. And Weeks Dye Works, I think, has been especially difficult. Um, I know, like, we placed an order at Pine Needles and... It was said it was going to shipped in October and we never got it. And so Sandy had a call and now she's got another order in. In the meantime, I went up to Craft Center to see if they had some of these floss. And there's three I can't find anywhere. So um, we'll see. I'm, so I'm thinking I might start and then just kind of do like Erica has done in the past and leave spaces. And yeah, we'll see. We'll come back to it. So anyway, so that's what that's kind of what I've got going on. So we'll see. How well I do. I haven't done a lot of cross stitch lately and I just kind of have felt this need to kind of change things up a little bit. You know, I do have a bunch of quilts still in the works, but I think I need to switch a little bit. I think I need to do something else for a little while. Change so. it up. Yeah, but I still want to be busy. I still, you know, enjoy the enjoy the handwork and, you know, and all that. So anyway, so that's what I've got going on. It's nice. Hmm. I'll go next. So, are we going in a row? Or? Sure. Should have gone least to most, then I'd be done. Yeah. <laughs> I would be last. <laughs> Erica always has a lot going on. And again, I am not helping you because I've been bringing... She keeps buying me stuff. I've been bringing stuff home for her to do. Oh, stop I feeding know. the monster. I the know. monster? Come on. Yeah, so I pulled out my Christmas projects and I was like, ooh, do I have that many? <laughs> So I've been working on this one. I, oh, what is this one this called? One. I don't remember. I mean, I'll look it up. I don't want to do that one. It's a really cute one. And they actually have come out with, um, I think, is this Little House Needleworks? Oh, it might be. I think you mean Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> and this, um, they've come out with a fall one that Eric and oh, I yeah, are started actually going to start and do. I mean, and we did luck out because we did have several of the flosses in that one yeah. already. But if yeah. we're both doing it, I'm sure we're going to have to find more. Yeah, but I love this one. I think it's so cute. It's really cute. Your back looks really nice. It looks Thank like you. grandpa. It's I, a grandpa well, back. I, know, and, I don't and, know about that. But and her, no. backs, her backs were featured on Table Talk. Yeah, Sandy that was used a, yours. That was a <laughs> thing that happened to us. <laughs> Working on this is the row of houses, the Christmas one by Little Stitch Girl, which I feel like every time um, I mention her in a video, I have to mention, please make Thanksgiving houses. <laughs> <laughs> Does she have like Valentine's? Oh no, we need Valentine's too. Valentine would be cute. Oh, what about oh, President's Day? Or the dog's tail's wagon and now he's a... Everything. President's Day might be going a little too far. Yeah, but I'm pretty close to finishing this one. I need to finish, you know, the last house. And Santa's on top of the last house. And then the there's words at the bottom and a tree on the side. Oh, yeah, you were pretty much done. That's And I, she has a lot of um, seasons. And um, that's seasons. one that Sandy just kind of ordered in for you. Yeah. Okay, this one looks really, like, dirty, I feel like. Because it's, it's black. Cute. And my dog is... I mean, she's a yellow lab, so it just looks like that there's hair all over it. Because there is. <laughs> but this one is by... Who's the one that's doing the Nutcracker one? Uh, it's, it's the same one that's doing that one. Yep. Uh-huh. No, the Nutcracker. Are they the same? Is yeah. fall one, too? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, the Nutcracker is the same as the... Country Cottage? Yeah, the house. Anyways, this one I got um, because the pattern was pretty easy. And I wanted to try a uh, black fabric. Mm -hmm. So this is Black Ada. Um, I'll go ahead and pass on the black linen, like, forever. But <laughs> <laughs> You're not enjoying the black Ada? No, I don't mind it. I just think it'd be terrible to do it. To try to do in, linen. Uh, linen. Yeah. Or sure. maybe, though, if you get experience with linen, you might change your mind. Well, maybe. <laughs> never say never, I guess. But anyways, it's going well. I think it's pretty cute so far. It's cute. It's, it's like a little gingerbread house. Up, up, and away? Yeah, it's like, ho, ho, and away we go. Oh, or something like that. Something I like feel that, like yeah. there needs to be candy on it. 
I don't know, it kind of looks like there should be. Nice. Maybe super it's cute. licorice. Oh. Licorice. It is. Licorice. It's really cute. Okay, and this one, I like pulled it off of the, and I was like, it actually looks a little bit creepy because he doesn't have a head. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> headless horseman. At least he's not <laughs> Except he's headless Santa. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is a um, uh, prairie schooler. I was going to say Little House Prairie Schooler. That's your fault. <laughs> uh, it's a prairie schooler, Woodland Santas. This is the third one. I've done two other ones, and then there's one more after this that I'm going to do. But they're, I think they're all pretty cute. But I'm waiting to do have all four of them done because I want them framed at the same time. So are you thinking you're going to like put them all together in a frame and put a kind of a map between? You know, I didn't even know you could do that, but maybe. Because it could be pretty cute like that. Yeah, they it gives are really you a little cute. bigger piece to uh -huh. hang on the wall if you want. Yeah. Just One day when she ha she's making money too. and mm -hmm. can afford to frame everything. Yeah, well, I graduated, so I should get a job here the yeah. next you know, year. <laughs> Hopefully soon. <laughs> okay, this last one. This one was a big deal. Ooh. Isn't that exciting? So it's Nutcracker Village Smart by linen. the... Uh, it is linen. Yeah, it's linen. I'm doing linen, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. And I did make it seem very dramatic. You, you did make it seem like it was going to be the hardest thing I'd ever done. And the one thing to say about this, too, is, I mean, you didn't pick an easy linen to start on. Well, that's a good place to start because um, I don't know any different. That's true. That's true. It's just, it is what it is. And this cute little needle minder that she had on there that I always try to give the girls something <clears throat> at Thanksgiving that's Christmassy. So they all got one of those needle minders. Look, you can see the lights through it. And a pair. <gasps> Ooh. And then you got cool. a you got a pair of Christmas We did, yeah. Yes. Anyway, so this one is uh, monthly. I think they haven't released all of them yet. They've released this one and then one other. Right. The, the last one was released like um, just a few days ago. And um, it hasn't been, we, or the store doesn't have it yet. Yeah, so. but the, you don't know what the other ones even look like. It's a surprise. I think it'll be fun. It'll be really cute. Um, that's all. That's all okay. for you. Well, here's your stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. You My don't have as much Christmas as I thought you did. That's all I brought up, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's any more. She could go on for a little while longer. Um, so the biggest news with me is that I finished a Dickens Christmas Yay! quilt. Yay! So it's quilted, it has been bound, and it is hanging on my wall. So, Erica, insert picture here. <laughs> and she, it did take, like, what, three months? To get it quilted, so the yeah the the, uh, the quilter was out of a ways. Yes, she was, but she did an awesome job with it. So it looks really good, and I love it. It's hanging right above my bed, right next to my Dickens Village. So it's just it's quite the it's aesthetic <laughs> in there. So I am so happy to have that. Um, my other thing that I did. Oh, Enzo thinks this is going to be for him. Um, the other thing that I did was this cute little Ooh. wool piece. Um, I still need to applique the wreath on, but I haven't done it yet because it goes in these little Christmas tree tins. And I set my Christmas tree next to the tin that we got. And this one has four branches. The tin has Three. Yeah, that was a fun time. <laughs> so, and it's kind of too late for me to go through and change it to three branches. So I'm trying to figure out what to do at this point. Um, I need to go online and do some more digging. If anyone has suggestions, <laughs> let me know. Or if anybody knows where to find a four branch, it's a yeah. buttermilk basin pattern, and the the tins are buttermilk from butter, buttermilk basin also. Um, but she, I, we can't find them anywhere. And yes. The dog is excited. <laughs> yeah. So, and then I was going to make one, make another one, and I just don't know what to, I, I don't, I don't I'm know. I'm kind of wondering so, if we can't put it on some fabric and maybe put it in a frame or something. Maybe, but I really like those Christmas tins, so I'm not giving up on that yet. <laughs> so, because it's super cute, and the embroidery took me such a long time. Maybe eBay. Maybe. No, I need to do some more digging on it. But so. it's really cute. So if, yeah, if you do, if she does any more, she'll just have to measure off of the tins. Yeah, it's the, it's the church in tree buttermilk basin. That's yeah. original. I like it. Church in tree. I know. It's <laughs> nice. Like it. See if I can get it to just. Very descriptive. There we go. <sighs> yeah. 
Um, and then the other one that I have been working on is, oh, actually, I forgot I pulled this out. It's called Jingle All the Way, and it's under the Garden Moon. Um, and I probably would be a lot farther than I actually am right now, but I haven't been in the mood to cut things out. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to cut out all of the triangles oh. on the side there. That's terrible. So have there you, you done go. the people yet? No, because you're supposed to put the triangles on first. Oh. And I just, I haven't done, I just haven't wanted to cut out like 40 or something triangles. I just doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't really had a show to put on to do it. Well, I could just, you know, do this mindless thing. And so I pretty much have only put on the candy cane and that's it. <laughs> nice. So um, my goal was to have it done for this Christmas so I could put it on my door and hang it up there. Um, we'll make that next year. <laughs> That's okay. That's, That's all right. Reasonable. Yeah, because it took a long time finding the fabric for the triangles. And then by that point, I was like, I really don't want to cut this out because there's a ton of pieces in this pattern. And it took so long cutting out the paper and then ironing it on and then cutting it out. And so I just was like, no more cutting for this pattern. <laughs> I am on strike. Well, and sometimes it's, I think it's good to set a project aside for a little bit and, you know, take a break. And then sometimes you're like, oh, I really would like to go back and finish that. Yeah. Yeah. So I am I think that I'll be in the mood to do it, honestly, probably over Christmas break because I don't work for the rest of this week. So maybe I'll start doing that tomorrow or something. Um, and then I'm still working on that B tail runner <laughs> by 1894 Cottonwood House. Um... So working on that one, I feel like that's kind of just it for me. I haven't really done a whole lot. Been you did do a, a thing for grandma. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I did make a thing for my grandmother. Said Noel? I did say Noel. Um, it was... Was that a buttermilk mason? I believe it was a buttermilk mason. We'll have to take a picture of that pattern because it's super cute. I love that pattern. I had a lot of fun doing that one. And grandmother was very, very pleased. She was very excited. Yes, Grandma, so. and she sent me a selfie with it, so that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> grandma can do selfies. Uh, yes, Grandma and Grandpa were in it, and they were standing next to it. It, it was cute, but I don't know. I've been busy with grad school, so I haven't done as much. Well, applying to grad school, <laughs> so I haven't done as much as no, I don't. have in the past. So, all right, my up. Okay, Ariel, what you got going? Okay, my amount of holiday projects is not very merry. <laughs> How long have you been planning that? <laughs> I've had to sit through a lot of stuff. <laughs> and where is my projects? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that one just hit me. Um, um, so I, my, my child, in case you don't remember, I have a child. Uh, they are now mobile <laughs> and can walk. And I spend most of my life keeping things safe. <laughs> <laughs> Your child is very busy. Yes. Very yes. busy. Yes. So, I have not gotten a lot done. But I did start a new project since we last have filmed. And that is my holiday project. Well, because Eric and I went to done. Eric and I went to Shepherd's Bush and Ariel said, Bring us bring really me fun. back a pattern. And so we found this and we loved this pattern. It was so cute. It is really and cute. And I think it might be one that Eric and I might also want to do. But yeah. We did and did we get you the stuff to do it too? Yep. So yeah we That's brought, nice brought home a little kit for Ariel. Yep. And it looks like you have your needle minder. I do. I have my needle minder, minding a needle. Mine's on the jingle all the way. Oh, good. You've got your views in yours, too. Yes. So, uh, this one, I believe when it's translated into English, because it is a French pattern, I believe it's Madame Thule or something? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, but when it's translated into English, I believe it is called The Idiot, because... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the dog right. was going for some oh. floss. <laughs> Where did that come from? Here. Yeah. Yep. Um, because as you can see from the picture, so the finished. Back it up a little bit. I'll bring it back in. You can also tap the screen. That was much easier. The finished product, you can see like there's this reindeer over here. 
um, being an idiot. So. <laughs> He's <laughs> fallen behind. <laughs> I also really like that he has a scarf on. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. Oh, he does. That's adorable. He's just like back there. Wait for me. I think that's really oh, cute. Oh, that is cute. Kind of little scarf. You, as you can tell, we kind of have a thing for houses. Apparently. Oh, we do seem to have a thing for houses. Yeah, yeah we do. Because my quilt has all houses and yeah, stuff in it. Yeah. And but when Eric and I saw that, we just thought, oh, it's so cute, and we figured Ariel would like it. And we figured if she didn't like it, one of us would do it. That's right. So we figured it was a goodbye. It was a goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> see you later. Yeah, we had we had a lot of fun picking out projects there. Oh, you, you picked up a Christmas one there, too. I did. So there's another one I didn't bring, but that's okay. It was on, like, the huge hoop that I have, and I didn't want to take it off. And Anyways, one day, I don't have very much done. I say one day when we film at our house, maybe you can share. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. So you have to come to my house, because I have a child. <laughs> and my husband is still at work. Um, so, other project-wise... Let's see, what have I been doing? I really haven't made that much progress on the library. I don't know. I was really enjoying. It looks like you've made a lot of progress. Yeah, wow. I, I haven't seen the. I haven't seen the. Uh, yeah, that looks like really the trees. Nice. The stuff at the top. Yeah. Is he no. supposed to have a head? Or is he the headless horse? Or is he like back in the? Just curious. Um, I kind of think that's just what he looks like. Because I thought I finished him. There was a floss color though that I did not have. Just like. Working yeah. on the door forever. Now look, the door is done. Uh, yeah, no, doesn't look like he has a head. Oh, but the door is almost done. Oh no, oh, the door is. Done. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I finished it. He doesn't have. Well, a head. it just looked like over here. Like there was, I just saw the blank right there. Well, I even sent you the picture when I was done. Well, I. It, it's really cute. Can't remember anything. Okay. And you have done very, really well with that one too. You Larry. really have. Thank you. Yeah, it's really cute. Thank you. And then I've also been really enjoying doing this one. I'll take this one off because I need to tighten it anyway. Oh, and I think too that we haven't had a floss tube. I found these hoops oh, yeah. this, with, on the stands. <laughs> and I didn't get one to Nicole because she's not a stitcher. but I am not. I got one. But yeah, I got one for Erica. I've got one for Ariel. So. Mine was a birthday present. Yours was a birthday present. So I finished my quilt, and I have started the barn on this one. So I've actually made it pretty yeah, decent you made, ways on this one made too. A lot of progress. So are all the Looks quilts nice. done? Yep. Oh, cute. Yay. Those are all the quilts. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I just hit a phase where I was really enjoying this one, and I was really enjoying the Christmas one, and I just kind of put the other ones to the side for a little bit. That's okay. And so, yeah, that's it for me. Yep. Oh. Okay. I think that's it for all of us. Yeah, I think that is it for all of us. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. If you've watched some of our previous videos from like ever ago, <laughs> it has been a long time. <laughs> we'll try to make some goals and get a few things done. And Maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. See what happens yeah. during Christmas break. Yeah. But yeah. we hope you have a Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.